Hello everybody, this is episode 61, day 67 of our Grand Island Adventure. Tonight Ewan will be travelling to Dublin to hop on a ferry to come and visit me. So excited. Anyway, he has a few chores to do before he's ready to have a bit of a nap before he needs to set off. Morning everyone, it's week 10, day 5 Friday. And as you can see I'm outside and it's raining. I've got a few jobs to do outside before uh, setting off and uh, I've decided to fill all these empty bottles with rainwater for the toilet but I don't really want to go all that wet so I've just put a temporary board in between the extension and the shed just so I can shelter from the rain while I'm decanting this water there it is look it's uh, gonna come down in a bit when I finish this anyway it actually looks like it's going to, it actually looks like it's going to come down the way before I finish but we'll see anyway it's only chip board and it's worth getting wet so I've got to do that once I've finished doing this water I've got to fill the generator with a little bit of petrol so that I can um, finish doing some routing in the house and then I'm going to take the generator and the router back to the higher company that's inconvenient having somebody message me while I'm talking anyway so I'm gonna finish this off and then I'll do another video a bit later on all right it's video number two today I've done a bit of tidying up in the in the house and I've uh, collected all the tools that I need to take back to England with me I've also collected the tools that are on hire so I'm gonna take them back to Charlestown today that's just stopped by uh, to see how I'm going and uh, ask if I'm gonna pop by for a cup of tea uh, before I set off so I'll do that after I come back from Charlestown because uh, I need to get these mucky clothes off and uh, get some clean clothes on so I'll go down to his house and have the cup of tea then come back and get changed and go to bed for a couple hours I need to get uh, some more sleep today because uh, I'll set off at midnight tonight my sailing's at 8, 8 a.m. While Pat was here, he noticed, uh, he had a look over there and he noticed that my grass had started growing. Now he did say, late last week, not long after I put the grass seed down, he said, before you know it, that will be up and green. And uh, I've looked at it over the last few days and there's been nothing, absolutely nothing there at all. And then he comes out, he comes by this morning and says, your grass is growing. And I went, what? I looked over and you can see it from a distance, you can't see it close up, but... I'll show you what I mean. You come over there and you see the green of the grass. It's not as green as this like obviously but you know it's uh, it's just a tiny little seedlings. I mean you go like this, you go like that and it, you, you can still, you can see it but obviously not as detailed as going like that and see how green it is. That's fantastic and although the uh, Although the soil is up and down, you know, it's still got the ridges in from the digger and my footprints. Once the grass has established itself, I'm going to get the whacker plate on it just to even it out a bit. Just to make it nice and, uh, nice and flat. But I've got to get the whacker plate on this driveway anyway and get the maintenance uh, fully flat. Uh, I've been talking to a friend of mine, Peter Curlew, who's had this same stuff fitted on his driveway. And he said he hired a whacker plate for a day and he and his missus just whacker plated it all day long and he says now it doesn't even need concreting or uh, or tarmac in. he says you just leave it as it is just uh, maintenance and then all he has to do is go out with his own special formula of wheat killer which I will tell you about another day uh, it's uh, all natural ingredients and monocoxy. Stupid Cupid, you're a real mean guy. Oh, I like to creep your way so you can fly. Stupid Cupid, I love Anyway, that's my ringtone. <laughs> um, so, I'll, uh, I'll give you the formula for the um, wheat killer at a later date. Actually, I've seen, I've just seen here in this side of the maintenance there are little bits of grass growing up where the seeds have fallen on the uh, on the maintenance as I was uh, spreading it about here because I spread it all over here, you can still see it there lots of grass is growing and 
I put it all over there. It's going to be growing up there as well. I put some here. It's definitely growing there. I can see little snippets of growing here and there, so that's all right. And maybe at some point in the future, I'll get this dug out and get some maintenance all the way around the house. Uh, yeah, so it looks nice as that, and I'm just about heading to uh, Charlestown Hire Shop, take these things back, get my car vacked out, and uh, pack my stuff. And then uh, I'll catch you again in another video a little bit later on. Thank you for coming along with us. That's Ewan and Phoebe Wilby on our island renovation journey. If you want to be notified of updates and new videos as they are uploaded, please remember to click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell. Also, we love company, so feel free to share our YouTube channel with your friends. The more the merrier. And please leave us a comment if you wish. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time. Our love to you all.